congratulations. Thank you so now, much. I was just talking to Daniel. He hasn't seen the film yet. Have you seen it? I've seen it three times. Okay. This will be my fourth time seeing it. Okay. Um, uh -huh. And what was it like to get the phone call to be in an Arvin film? How did that work? Did you audition or yeah, was it? Yeah, did like six months of sort of auditioning for it. And it got to the point where it had been so long and I was like... <gasps> Oh my God, I just need to put it out my head, not think about it, just get on with my day, go to work as usual. And then I got the phone call and I was just like, oh my gosh. And I think I spoke for about 10 seconds after it. And then I rang my mum to tell her I got the job. But the thing is, I'd interviewed for Home and Bargain a few weeks before. So when I rang my mum and I was like, mum, got the job. She was like, oh my word, you got the job at Home and Bargain. Amazing, amazing. She started calling for me dad. And it, well, I was like, no, I've got the chicken run job. I've got the chicken run job. And oh, it was, it was, it was so cool. Like, I always remember that day. And were you familiar with the first one? Was that part of your growing up? The first film? Oh yeah, yeah. I think we had, I always say this, because we had two videos growing up, me and my brother. And it was The Lion King and Chicken Run. Uh, so we just watched them on repeat, obviously, because it was nothing else. <laughs> yeah. And one, one thing that's great about Chicken Run and carried on into this film is we've got such a great female protagonist uh, in Ginger who's got a wonderful moral compass, but it was also full of action. Is that something you're consciously aware of reading the script? Or? Yeah, absolutely, 100%. And when they brought, I read the part of Frizzle, I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. It's like a female-led chickens. Not that you get a male chicken, like, but yeah. <laughs> no, straight away, it was apparent that it was going to be female protagonist yeah which is great with yourself and Bella obviously you're the new characters to the film whereas the others have been there before how much did you take from the screenplay and how much did you take from Sam's direction as to how to play it um, so much I'd never done voice acting before in my life and I never thought I'd be able to because I've always been dyslexic so I always just assumed that I'd never be able to be a voice actor so when I got the audition I was like oh, I'm gonna try my best to do this and Sam made it so amazing in the booth how to do it and like I've learned so much and it is one of my favorite jobs that I've ever done and it was yeah it's been brilliant doing it straight off the from off the cuff yeah. and mental health in, in acting and filmmaking is such an important thing yeah with yourself with dyslexia and ADHD, I understand? Yeah, yeah, I'm actually an ambassador for ADHD UK as well. So, yeah, it's a massive part of what I do. Wow. So, uh, so, so how, did you learn new ways of adapting to filmmaking and, and being yourself through this process? Yeah, absolutely, because I always think as well, when you've got ADHD and dyslexia, a lot of people see it as a negativity, when actually, if you when you see Frizzle in the film, you're going to be like, oh, I understand why Josie was cast as that. So I've really learned to embrace it and it's part of my act and it's part of who I am and it's part of the reason I got the jobs that I get. So. And one, one last thing, also saving animals is, is a big part of your life anyway. Yes. So with, yeah. with the greyhounds yeah. and everything like that, how, how nice is it to be in a film that, that looks after animal welfare in such a way? Do you know what, it's like a perfect fit. It, when, it came, when I got the job I was like, this is unbelievable, Like this is exactly what I'm about. Everything this film is about is what I am about in my life. So. It's been amazing and I'm so glad that I get to be a part of it. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey yeah. you guys! <laughs> hey you guys! <laughs> hey, that's what they all say. Hey you guys! Hey you guys!